Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to take you through a very quick edit using the new Luminosity Action Sets. We have two sets called Luminosity the Essence and Luminosity the Artisan. And uh, we're going to start out today with uh, one of the base color workflow actions. Uh, we have here a blender action that will take all of the base workflow for uh, color actions and play all of them at once. So you can go through and quickly see uh, what the effect of each one is if you want, just want to try them out or you can mix and match them. All of the luminosity actions are completely um, stackable. You can stack them up and mix and match them as you wish with no interference from the others. So uh, you see here over here we have in our layers palette after running that we have all of our base color workflow actions stacked up here and you can go through and just click quickly turn on which ones you want to try out. You can mix and match. Um, if I if I wanted to do a little bit of fierce, we can take the opacity down to 50 and say a little bit of delicate and then take the opacity down a little bit on that one. And then um, you can change the opacity on the entire uh, on the entire uh, folder of your workflow actions over here. Take all that out. Hang on a second. And once you decide which actions you want, you can go up to your your main folder up here and change the opacity of the entire set of actions that you decided to use. Or you can just go through and quickly try each one and see which one works the best with your image. And uh, we're going to go over here after selecting our base color workflow. And I'm going to do a little bit of finishing touch on it and come down to our uh, softness and blur actions. And I'm going to run. Uh, petal soft and it's going to give it a nice blur of the image with just a little bit of a matte finish and at the end you're going to want to take your black paintbrush and mask over any details that you want to keep sharp and I'm going to bring my opacity on my brush up to 100% and then just brush over her face because I want to keep that nice and crisp and, and detailed and you can see it just this, on this image with the lighter colors it's not as dramatic as it might be on an um, image with some more detail and color in the background. And then I'm going to go down to the Artisan set, which is all of your toning and mattes and hazes and um, actions that are going to really give some style and, and unique look to your image. Um, they're to be used um, either if you have a straight out of camera image that's, that's just awesome and doesn't need any workflow edits, contrast, and exposure fixes, and, and color pops done, then you can use those on a straight out of camera image, but it works best if you have a clean edit going on them first. So you'll want to use your actions in the Essence set first, and then go to your Artisan set. And there's also a blender in here for the uh, all the toning actions. Uh, they're, they're called toppings for your base. I'm going to play the blender just to kind of show you what, what this does. It's going to stack all 35 of these uh, color shift actions together. And then you can go through and make your own uh, recipe uh, with varying opacities and click on and off all of the different actions that it has in there to decide which one looks best for your image and just create your own unique look. So it's running through 35 actions. It goes very quickly, though. So now it's done. And we have our Luminosity Artisan Blender folder right here. And inside there, we have all 35 of those actions. And you can go through and decide which ones you want to turn on or off. I'm going to go to Lola. And I'm going to turn this one down to about 30%. And I'm going to use uh, something I like to do often is uh, take one of the actions and um, just paint it on here and there. And so what you would need to do is select your layer mask and then hit Command or Control I um, on the layer mask and it turns it black. And then we just take our brush and dot the color on where we want and it just kind of warms it up. I wouldn't want that on the whole, whole image for this edit. So I'm just going to dot it on to the background a little bit there. And then I'm going to finish up with an action from the overlay finishes in the Artisan. I'm going to use the Rich Deep Matte. And again, you want to go through and mask off the areas that you want to keep nice and crisp and brighter. And you can turn that up or down as you wish. And here is the final edit on that. 
And again, you can customize these completely. They all stack together and uh, you can just create your own unique look for everything from color popped and bright to hazy and matte. And it's got it all in there. And uh, the wonderful thing about these is, is you can just keep stacking them up and changing them as you wish. You never need to flatten or worry about them interfering with each other. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a great day.